Hello everyone, my name is Andre Marius and in this Envato Task Plus tutorial I will show you how to create this graffiti text effect in Adobe Photoshop using a graffiti font, layer styles and the blend if function. Before we begin, make sure to check out Envato Elements, where with a simple subscription you can get unlimited access to millions of creative digital assets, such as music, graphics, photos, fonts, and many more. You can subscribe right now with the link in the description. Before we open Photoshop and start the work on the text effect, you have to go to the written version of the tutorial and just download this brick wall photo. Now you can open Photoshop and instead of creating a new document, just go to File and Open to select your brick wall photo. Let's set the zoom to 150. And before we start the work on the text effect, go to Window in the menu bar and make sure that you have the character and the layers panel opened. Once you're done, select the horizontal type tool from your toolbar and focus on the character panel to set the settings of the text that you're about to add. Select the GraphoGi font, set the size to 285, lower the tracking to 0, make sure that the color is set to white, and then simply click on your canvas to type in vote. Now go to Edit, Transform and Warp. Select Shell Upper from this menu, set the bend to 21%, the horizontal distortion to minus 29 and the vertical distortion to 22. Press Enter or click this button to apply the warp effect and then select only the V from your text. Lower the tracking to minus 75. Press the Escape key to finish editing this text and click again on your canvas to add a new piece of text. Before you type in your text, lower the size to 116, increase the tracking to 75, and type in 4. Again, press the Escape key to finish creating this new text, and click one more time on your canvas to add a third piece of text. This time, just increase the size to 255, Type in Pedro, switch to the Move tool from your toolbar, and use it to move your text roughly like this. Once you're done, you can hold down the Shift key to easily select all your text. First, press Ctrl and G to group your text, and then Ctrl and T to rotate it. Set the rotation to minus 80 degrees. Press Enter to apply the rotation, and then press Ctrl and A to load a selection around your entire canvas. Click these two buttons to move your text in the center of the canvas. Press Ctrl and D to get rid of that selection, and then press Ctrl, Shift and G to ungroup your text. Now that you have your text set up, let's stylize it. Start with the vote piece of text. Select it and double click it to open this layer style window. Move it aside so you can notice the changes as you make them. Lower the fill opacity to 0% and then enable the bevel and emboss effect. Keep the style set to inner bevel. Change the technique to chisel hard. Increase the depth to 145. Make sure that you have the up box checked. Move these two sliders to 8 and 0, and then move to the shading section. Disable the global light, set the angle to 98 degrees, remember to check this anti-aliased box, change both blending modes to overlay, set the opacity values to 188, and then change the colors to 3, 91 and 124 and for this other color let's enter 255 48 and 0 click ok and enable the inner shadow effect change the blend mode to normal 
Make sure that the color is set to black and increase the opacity to 100%. Disable the global light and set the angle to minus 94 degrees. Move these sliders to 0, 0 and 10. Check this box and select the cone contour. Increase the noise to 11% and enable the inner glow effect. Change the blend mode to normal and the color to black. Move these two sliders to 19 and 61 and then move to the elements section. Select Precise from this drop down menu. Make sure that you have the center box checked. Set these two sliders to 1 and 10 and then move to the quality section. Don't forget to check this box. Select the cone inverted contour. Keep these two sliders at 50 and 0 and then enable the setting. For this effect, change the blend mode to overlay and the color to 100, 236 and 135. Increase the opacity to 100%. Keep the angle at 90 degrees. Set the distance to 19 and the size to 24. Make sure that you have these two boxes checked. Select the half round contour and then enable the gradient overlay. First change the blend mode to linear burn and check this dealer box. Lower the opacity to 6%. Keep the angle at 90 degrees. Lower the scale to 60% and then click this gradient thumbnail to adjust your gradient. Click this color stop and double click it. Change the color to black, click OK and then lower the opacity of this color stop to 0 and then double click this other color stop and change the color to black. Click OK and enable the outer glow effect. Again set the blend mode to linear burn. Change the color to black. Set the opacity to 29% and keep the noise at 0%. Select Precise from this menu. Set the spread to 50 and the size to 3. Check this box. Set the range to 100 and the jitter to 53. And finally enable the drop shadow effect. Keep the color set to black. Change the blend mode to normal and increase the opacity to 95%. Disable the global light and set the angle to 90 degrees. Move these sliders to 5, 39 and 24. Increase the noise to 10 and remember to check this box before you return to the blending options. Focus on this blend if section. Make sure that you have gray selected from this menu and then hold down the Alt key to split this marker. Select the left side and move it to 161. And then select the right side and move it to 236. Click OK and this will be your first graffiti text effect. Let's continue with this four piece of text. Double click it to open the layer style window. Lower the fill opacity to 0% and enable the bevel and emboss effect. Change the technique to smooth. Lower the depth to 100% and then focus on the shading section. Set the angle to 90 degrees. Change these blending modes to screen and multiply. Lower the opacity values to 0 and 50. Change the colors to white and black and then enable the stroke. Just change the position to outside, keep the rest of the settings as they are and then enable the inner shadow effect. Set the choke to 18 and the size to 5. 
change the contour to linear, keep the rest of the settings and then enable the inner glow effect. Increase the opacity to 30%, check this edge box, lower the size to 4, change the contour to linear and then enable the drop shadow effect. Just lower the spread to 27 and the size to 18, increase the noise to 17 and then return to the blending options. Again hold down the ALT key to split this marker. Move the left side to 158 and the right side to 217. Click OK and this will be your second graffiti text effect. Now hold down the ALT key and just drag the effects applied on this vote text to the Pedro text. As you can see this applies the same effects to the Pedro text. Double click it to open the layer style window, lower the fill opacity to 0% and let's make some changes. Start with the bevel and emboss. Just change these colors with 31, 174 and 227. And for this other color let's enter 206, 67 and 219. Click OK and move to the inner glow effect. Change the blend mode to linear dodge and the color to 221, 137 and 37. Set the opacity to 33 and the noise to 47. Increase the choke to 58 and the size to 16. Set the contour to linear and then move to the setting effect. Just replace this color with 240, 141 and 24 and then move to the outer glow effect. Lower the spread to 40 and the size to 2 pixels and then get back to the blending options. This time hold down the ALT key to split this black marker, move it to 80. And then split this white marker, move the left side to 139. And the right side to 201. Click OK and with this final touch your graffiti text effect is complete. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, remember to hit that like button as it helps me know that I did a good job, subscribe if you aren't already and don't forget to click the little bell icon to be notified of any new tutorials. If you are looking to learn even more, you can check out some of the other tutorials that Envaro Task Plus has to offer. I'm Andrei Marius and I'll see you in the next video.